Hey, hey, everybody, Mountain New Money here, and welcome to a little game that's quickly gaining recognition. You can find it over on Steam. I think I paid like $2.99, $3.99, whatever it was. And usually when bigger um, YouTubers play things, I really don't, I don't rush out and buy them. Um, but this one kind of called out for me to do that. I first watched it. I know, of course, everybody has probably seen Markiplier do it. A lot of you have seen Wade do it. The first person that I saw do it is one of Wade's friends, Patrick Static. And, of course, it just absolutely just tickled me to death. I'll make sure his link is in the description for you. He's so funny. And I just, I watched this game, and it just, I giggled my ass off, probably like everybody else did. And then, of course, I had to go watch Wade play it, and then, of course, Mark played it. So, but the every time I watched it, I, I kind of zoned out what they were saying. I mean, it's hard to, they're so funny. But, and I started pl paying attention to the game or uh, it's 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 an artistic look at something i guess and it kind of told me some things um now i don't know if you guys are got the same message that i'm about to tell you that i got but this is what i got out of it okay so welcome to life and once you're plugged into it you got to play the game, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to Plug and Play. Mountain Dew Mania version. And that's how we come into life, isn't it? I mean, it just seems from the moment you're born, you're, you're reaching for something. You don't know what it is, but you hope you connect. And then from that moment on, it's nothing but run, run, run. And most of the time, you think you're running blind. As a kid, it doesn't matter. You, you run to have fun and play, and there's no real direction. You're just running, you know? So, and, you know, I mean, you just stumble along, and bam, you run into a wall. Now, what that wall means to you of course, is, I mean, you know, it's different for everybody. Um, sometimes it's just meeting new people, uh, experiencing new things, you know, and you're always told you get up and you dust yourself off and you get right back into it. So that's what we do. That's what we tend to do. That's what I teach my kids, you know. But sometimes... You know, it just, it doesn't work, and you just, it's like you just hit this surface, and you just kind of get bounced off into another another direction, another tangent, you know? So you go running off that way, and it's it's like you have this task to complete, but you don't know what the task is. So you just keep running, and you, I mean, and it's like, from the minute you get in school, you're you're on the run. To get better grades, to do this, you gotta you gotta please everybody, and sometimes you just get fed up and you just want to unplug, you know, because pressure starts to build on you. So you take a little break, and I mean, you know, whatever it is, no, you don't want to do sports anymore. No, you don't want to talk to your friends anymore. You just want to sit in your room alone and just be, you know. And then, but of course you can't do that because life goes on. So you've got to pick yourself up and brush yourself off and plug yourself back in again. And you say to yourself, oh my God, where is the magic formula to make all this work? There's got to be some kind of cool little trick that I don't know about that the rest of the world knows about and they get and I just don't get. It's like they have a magic button or something, and they push it, and, you know, everything's fine. So, where's my button? Okay, here's my button. And you find this group of people, and they're like, oh, hey, I know you. Do you know me? Come on, stand in this line. Everybody else is standing in this line. So, you stand in the line. And it's like, you know, 
well, I'm like you and you're like me and it's okay and, you know, um, I fit here. But do you really? Because once you get in that line and you're in that group, it's like you're on a leash and people just pull you around. And, I mean, if you were in a clique in high school or you knew a clique in high school, it really was like being walked around on a leash. You had to go where everybody else said to go, and you have to do what everybody else says to do because you want to fit in and be the same. And it's like really, you know, and, I mean, if you don't, you get shoved out of the clique. Well, that's no fun, you know. I mean, you're just laying there all by yourself. So... And it's it's like a chain reaction, you know? You don't fit. You don't fit here. You don't fit there. So you're back to the same basic question again. What am I supposed to do? Where's the magic button to push that makes everything okay? Because I want to push it. But there's not one. And basically, you end up just get shoved and pushed around in your mind till there's just nobody left, you know? And you're just all alone. And you walk off and think, okay, I've had enough of this bullshit. I'm, there's got to be something that is better than going along with the crowd and being pushed and shoved around, and I want to be my own person. You know, I don't want to push your damn button. But, of course, you have to. And you're like, well, okay, I pushed the button. Now what? Do I wait? I mean, do I have to push the button again? I mean, come on. What the hell? I'm tired of pushing this button. I don't like this button. I want a new button. So you try something new. Hey, I think I'll try this for a while. Whoa, that opened up some choices. If I'd have tried this sooner, I would have had more choices. Okay, but now what do I do? If I pick the wrong one, what if I go back to the pile of crap I was just in? I don't want to do that. So you have to make a choice. So you choose. And you're walking along, you think, oh, hey, well, okay, this might work, maybe. But it doesn't, does it? You get stuck in the same grind that you were in. And you go, okay, that's enough. Okay, I've had it. That's not working. I've got to do something. Let's switch things around a little bit. You know, maybe that'll help. Maybe that's what I need. I need a change. But that's not it either. And you end up just with this pile of crap that you know and you're just you're straining and pushing and it's like what are you supposed to do i don't know what to do and it's like you get all these great wonderful ideas and you just end up i mean existing you eat and you shit and you do your thing and that's it and now what you're left with absolutely nothing again it's ridiculous so i mean what is the point, you know, I mean, it's just, you just go from one existence to another, you know, and after a while, it gets, it gets tiring, it does, I mean, you chase this stuff, and you chase it, and, you know, you don't know what to do, you, I mean, you don't know where to go, you know, so you just, you pick up the pieces, you put them back together again, and you're back to the same choices that you had. You think. And now, here's another choice. And you start to realize that, you know, sometimes there's too many choices. What are you supposed to do? Do you go left? Do you go right? Do you go frontwards, backwards? I mean, you know, so-and-so says to try this, but you don't want to try that. You've already tried that. You've been there and done it. It didn't work. Okay. Okay. One more time, I'm going to try and make something work. And if it doesn't work this time, I've had it. So, you know, you get rid of that and you push this around. And then all of a sudden, it's just like you you can't make the right choice. You put pieces in and, and you try to go and push and shove and nothing works. I mean, you know, it's, it's just like, what do you do? What are you supposed to do? I don't know what to do. There's nobody to tell you what to do. There's no instructions on what to do. You just try to hit it and make it work. And it just, you know, and just like, you hope somebody else knows what they're doing. Hi. And, you know, you try to make friends with people, you know. Hello. Hi. 
Do I know you? I don't know. And you find out they're they're just about as damn clueless as you are. And all of a sudden, here's this new person in your life. Do you know me? How could I know? And you're trying to stumble and find your way through, you know. And it's like, it's, I mean, are you opposites? Are you the same? I mean, do you know if they like you or... No, you don't. And you think you have the answers. Yes. No. But... You know, sometimes it just seems like everything you want to say no, no yes. they say yes. If you say yes, they say no, and you're more confused than ever. And it's just like somebody flips a switch and you're just left in the dark. You don't know. So you try, you know, okay, that didn't work, so we'll try another one. I love you. I don't think I love you. And you're right back exactly where you started again. I love you. I think you don't love me. You know, and I mean, you Are reach you? out to him. I'm not sure. And it's like you just keep hitting this wall. I mean, it's like you have absolutely nothing in common. You should fit together perfectly. But... Do you listen to me? I do. Surely not. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. And you just, you can't get anywhere. And you're alone again. So now what do you do? Do you love me? I don't know. I love you. I don't think I love you. Are you sure? I think you don't love me. I know I love you. I'm not sure. Do you listen to me? I do. Sure. Yes. Yes. No. And there you go. You're just as confused and lost as you always were. And it's just like you just seem to have the same conversation over and over and over and over without getting anywhere. I'm leaving. And you end up getting hurt or they get hurt and... You're alone again. And it just seems like you just, you know, you keep, you're you tired of making choices. You're alone and in the dark, and every single time you make a choice, it just seems like it's the wrong one. And you wonder yourself, should I even make any more? Why am I trying? But you can't give up, can you? So we'll try... One more time. And it's kind of a different choice to make now. You think it is. It's, or is it just the same problem in a different direction? And nope, you're right back to being pulled along with your little leash in your boring little life that you hate and you don't want to go anywhere. And you look around and you try to hold on to people and they're just getting jerked around the same way you are you know and you don't know what to do and you're like you know what let's just unplug I'm tired are you tired yep it's like we just get screwed by everybody you know you just bend over and just screw them and you find out that actually you're not alone you know you think you are but you're not and it's just it's a weird sensation to know that you're not as alone as you thought you were and you find a new group and a new clique and it just seems to, you know, I mean, yeah, it's they're kind of weird and geeky and odd and strange. But you found somebody you could connect with. You know? And you think to yourself, okay, if I connected with them, 
surely I can connect up here too. And then come to find out you're right back where you started again. You know? And you, it just seems that it's just this big tangled mess of choices. And no matter what you do or how you connect, it just, you know, it just, it becomes just a mess. I mean, it's, you try this, you push this over here, it doesn't work. Then you try this and it still doesn't work. There was a moment of happiness for a, just a minute. You reached out and touched somebody, you know, and you think to yourself, I got it. I finally got it. You know? And there's that, you just, you feel that warm touch of somebody else just for a brief moment. You know? And you just forget it. You just, you know, unplug. Just unplug, man. And it's another switch and it's another try you know and you just sometimes you just need to recharge you know and you want to be in a group or you want to be accepted but sometimes you just got to stand alone until you can't anymore, you know? So, is there an answer? Should you be a part of a group? Should you, should you stand alone on your own? You know? Stand proud? Stand brave? Should you, you know, you just... And it's tiring. I mean, it is absolutely tiring and... It can just wear you down to nothing. And there you go. That's life. So, you know, it just, that's sometimes, this is just about my life right here. You got your good days when you're up and you're bright and you're happy and the whole world's just bright. And you got some of those days and you just can't do it anymore. You feel worn out and limp and tired and you just want to sit in the dark and end it. But you don't, do you? You flip on that switch, you're happy, you're up and joyful and you know that it's just a show and at the flip of a switch when nobody's looking you're tired again you don't want to be this way you want to be this way but it's hard to do isn't it all right guys hope you enjoyed this this was my little rant like <laughs> yeah not really a rant but it's my point of view on a on a strange little game that happened to come into my life so i totally suggest you go watch markiplier or lord minion 777 uh, i'll put their links in the description or patrick static he is uh, is so funny uh, i'll make sure all the links are in the description for you and um tell me your take on this i'd really like to know till next time guys this is mount doom mania live from plug and play i'm so out of here later guys